Hello and welcome again in this video series on occlusion. In previous videos, we discussed about various steps involved in making Michigan splint, how to take face wool records. In this video, we're going to discuss about how to take interocclusal records in order to make Michigan splints, but also other uses of interocclusal records. So let's see when you need to record interocclusal records. So one of the indication is when you are mount, when you would like to mount mandibular and maxillary models in CR, you need to take interocclusal records. If you are doing reorganized approach and such as full mouth reconstruction or changing patients OVD, in these cases as well, you need to take interocclusal records because when you are changing patients OVD, the records you're going to take will be teeth apart record.